Okay, this is the Tensegrity wind tunnel test here. Um, the first shot here is a Tensegrity 1. Don't look at what it says there on the wall. It says Tensegrity 1 FL Elite. This is indeed the Tensegrity 1 Elite, not the FL. Um, and you can see right off the ground here, if you're new to these wind tunnel tests, the mileage, miles per hour shown in real time on the wall behind the tent so you can kind of get a sense of uh, what's going on as it's measuring the wind as the fan starts coming up. So right now you're already at 20 miles an hour, which is a very hard uh, wind and you're starting to see at 20 miles an hour some of the volume in that tarp is starting to get lost is what we would expect. Uh, but the main body of the tent is protected as we would expect behind that tarp and holding its uh, volume. For all of these tests we use all of the included guidelines because in the strong winds obviously you would tie it down with everything you have um, and so that's why you see the two tarp tie lines, guidelines being tied out to the side. So at this which is where at 25 miles an hour that was sort of a three season condition um, sort of tent we try and push that all of our tents have to survive 30 mile an hour sustained winds to pass our three season um, test criteria and you're about to see that this one's easily going to pass that from this side. In fact we're at 32 right now. You've lost a lot of the volume in the area there but you're only in the vestibule but you're only now starting to lose some volume in the uh, main body of the tent and that's at 35 miles an hour. So this is a super strong wind now and this is holding up really well and you're over 40, you're into the mid 40s, this is a full on mountaineering kind of condition and we can see now you're starting to lose body and it will fail here looking like pretty soon. Um, they're going to push it up to failure and you'll see just how hot, strong a 40 um, plus mile an hour wind is because the tent will start to flap wildly when those poles eventually go. It's still hanging in there at 45, here it goes, 47 and getting up to 50 and there goes the pole flapping out of there and made it almost to 50. So that is a huge success for the Tensegrity on the uh, um, awning side. So this is going to be the interesting test here. And actually I can see just as they turn the fan on that they don't have that dormer, that foot box area down there um, tensioned enough on the tent. So you're going to see more flapping there. It probably shouldn't do anything more than flap around. Um, but they could have set that up with more tension. I doubt that that's going to have an effect on the overall test here because the main structure of this tent is held by that seam that goes from the top down to the corner of the foot box and you can see we very deliberately built that all the way to the corner there just for this kind of scenario so we'll see how it does. So now they're going to push it up here uh, and get up to our 25 mile an hour sort of minimum and see how we're doing. It's the, the intent here is that the tension now is going to go remember from that seam from the foot box all the way up to the top and then down along the awning and there we are at just about 20 miles an hour and still holding strong other than that flopping in the uh, foot dormer. Okay we're over 25 here it's still looking strong uh, the foot dormer is starting to blow around you're probably getting about three or four maybe six inches of deformation at 25 miles an hour right on that inner uh, wind door there uh, which is pretty good and let's see what happens when it gets up there to 30. That's main seam across the front still seems to be holding and it's holding tension across the top. So that's going to make this strong. It's going to be tough to make it go down because the more it's collapsing on the side there, it's pushing that tension over onto the top and really working the way we want it to. So there we go. We're just up over 30 now. Oh, it just slipped. So the cord on the foot box just slipped through the tensioner. But still, at 40 miles an hour, it's still hanging in there. So it's it's definitely moved. You would be out of the tent right now trying to re-stake that thing back in. But now we're at 40. And even with that tension gone, see how that seam wants to just hold the tension and transfer it over to the top? 45 miles an hour. So this is definitely a, a pass. And it just shows that that really is transferring the tension the way that we want. Super strong. So I think that Sierra Designs is psyched with this result. And if anything, it shows you when the wind gets to be 35 miles an hour, you want to have your campsite somewhere else.